Well, hey guys, what's up? It is the end of the day, and I'm actually on my way to a K Beauty shop. I'm over here in uh, an area of town where there are a lot of uh, Asian businesses, restaurants, uh, Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, a few, maybe a few Japanese. Um, so I thought this would be a fun, fun thing for us to do together. Uh, kind of a little different from my typical shop with me type videos in that, you know, I don't read the language. So you guys might have to help me out, those of you K-beauty enthusiasts. Um, I, uh, I know whenever I'm over in this part of town, though, I'm not going to get any flack for wearing my, I mean, I never get any flack for wearing it, but for wearing my face shield. I just pulled it down because my camera won't focus on me when I'm wearing it. It thinks, you know, there's just a cloud in the background. It doesn't realize it's me. Uh, but yeah, I thought this would be fun. You guys can comment. And, you know, I haven't been over in this area in a long time. They have a lot of fun little little gems uh so i'll probably end up looking at some non-skincare stuff too so hope you guys will enjoy it hopefully they'll let me film in there i'm not i'm not sure how how that's gonna go over but at any rate we shall try all the masks so good news, I can film in here. She's very nice and said that that would be okay. Um, but I'm over here at the Cosrx section and um, they have the AC collection, which um, this calming liquid mild, I wanna say it has, um, unfortunately it has oil of bergamot in it, I think. I know one of the AC products does. Let's take a look here and see. Yeah, this has um, tea tree leaf in it, Centella Asiatica, Elantoin. All right, so this product I can't recommend. It has propolis in it, and I think that's kind of the, the ingredient that they're touting. Something that bees make, and uh, it can be helpful for um, have anti-inflammatory properties, but people can develop an allergy to it, as with anything. This also has tea tree leaf and tea tree leaf oil in it. However, that that's the culprit ingredient that can degrade and cause issue for people. So that's the one I don't recommend. But Centella asiatica, asiatica side, asiatic acid, and med medicacic, medicacic acid. Those are all compounds uh, and go to cola cola. I think it's pronounced that have been shown to be helpful for um, for healing wounds. So. That is a good ingredient. That's what's in the um, the La Roche Posay Cicaplast B A U M uh, cream with pentheno. I'll list it down below for you guys. But from this AC line, they have a Centella Asiatica acne pimple patch. I don't see it here, but um, if you remember back to my spot treatment video, how I talked about how those um, pimple patches are great because they. You can put it on um, a pimple and uh, protect it from UV light, and uh, that allows it to heal better. And the typical Cosrx pimple patches, I think they have them here, are great. They're just methyl cellulose, so they just make a nice um, barrier and protect the protect the healing pimple. And they also protect it from your fingers. But they have some Cosrx also has some in the AC line that have that have Centella Asiatica in it. Centella Asiatica has been shown to be helpful for wound healing and anti, anti, have anti-inflammatory properties. So that's great because many of you out there suffer from um, post-inflammatory erythema, not post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, but erythema, like your pimples heal with a red spot that stays a long time. That, that is something that could potentially help that. Okay, I have to say, I am not really on the toner toner bandwagon uh but i i know that it is i know that it's something that people are really enthusiastic about the way to use these as they'll tell you is to just pat them into the skin after cleansing uh and then you will move on to a thicker moisturizing product next that kind of seals it in um, i don't necessarily believe that these always have the active ingredient in a more effective delivery way, but uh, whatever. Um, I have to say, I have used the Pyongyang Yule Essence Toner, and uh, I do see a brightening effect with this. I get it on iHerb, 
and it has um, astragalus root extract. Root extracts are rich in humectants and sometimes can have anti, you know, have been shown, at least in lab studies, to have anti-inflammatory properties. They're really gentle and a lot of people swear by this. And I've got to say, I do see, I do see a little bit of a brightening effect when I use this. And it also has, um, that's, that's really it. The rest of the ingredients are just stabilizers and, um, and inactive ingredients. That's really the active ingredient. But this, this is fine. People love it. People swear by it. I've seen a little bit of an effect with it. But if I had to swear by one Pianca Liu product that has, has really just shaken my world up, it is the Moisture Ampoule. ampoule. Um, pat it on to damp skin after cleansing and then seal it in with an occlusive moisturizer. It, it will hydrate. Oh, yeah, I, I can't explain what it does. It just, it really does hydrate up the skin in a magical way. I've never tried the mist toner. Is that really the same thing as the essence toner, only in a spray form? See, I'm not sure because I don't see the, the ingredients aren't here in English. Let's see if they're on the box, 19 bucks. The, th the other nice thing about Oh, the mist toner has coptis, coptis chiniensis root extract in it. That's a humectant, so a different root extract. But the nice thing about Pyongkong Yule for you guys is it is cruelty free. So I like, I've, I've really been happy with Pyongkong Yule. Um, I also adore Sun Young, Sun Jung. Okay, we're not going to screw up the pronunciation of that today, Andrea. The barrier cream, and there's also there's also a scintilla, a scintilla cream as well. Both are fantastic. I have tried the toner, and I didn't really, I didn't really find that it did much. It has panthenol in it, which is in a lot of moisturizers. Panthenol is what is in the in the cicaplast balm as well. It makes things kind of sticky and tacky. And then this also has a root extract in it. I'm going to elicit you guys to help educate me. What is the secret of Sahara toner? What are the ingredients in this? I can't read that. So I can't tell you guys what or if that does anything. <laughs> the key, though, is to avoid fragrance. You guys know that. You guys know that rule. How about this aloe BHA skin toner? Is this a salicylic acid? You have to be careful. A lot of the K-beauty will sometimes do... Um, willow bark extract salix alba and call it bha but it's not quite the same thing it's anti-inflammatory but it's not it's not the same as salicylic acid this has beta glucan in it a humectant i don't know what this fruit extract is propertium fruit extract see a lot of the ingredients are just really exotic and can be potentially irritating comment below on if you've used this it doesn't seem to have frank like essential oils or anything in it. It's got aloe. A lot of people are irritated by aloe. And I'm not really a fan of spraying liquids on the face like throughout the day. In the K-Beauty lineup, they always come over it with, with a moisturizer. They don't just spray mists on their face and walk away. But that's really popular in like other, you know, you'll see, you'll see that a fair amount. Like, uh, to spray mists on the face. It just doesn't make sense if you're not coming in over it with an occlusive because that liquid just evaporates, pulls water out of your skin. And oftentimes like the rose sprays, that's, that's just fragrance. So it really just leaves behind, leaves behind a, um, a perfume film on the skin, which is not good. I haven't tried, is this, is this the same cleansing foam by the, by Pion Kung Yul that I've tried? I tried two of their cleansers. They were fantastic, but they both had fragrance in them. <laughs> I've tried Hamish's All Clean Balm and it's got lavender oil on it, um, but this uh, is a green foam cleanser. What does this have in it? pH 5.5 is perfect, by the way, for a cleanser. It helps uh, in uh, not disrupting the, the acid mantle of the skin barrier. Do they put fragrance in this? No, this has witch hazel, which some people which some people can be irritated by, and then it's got um, a bark extract. So again, with the with the kind of root extracts going on here. Hmm, I bet this is really gentle. Comment below on if you've used this. And then they also have a white clay foam. Let me get the all clean green foam. Do 
Okay. This gal is being so generous at letting me film it here. It's really nice of her. Nutmeg oil, yeah. Avoid that eucalyptus. No, that can, this can be problematic. Bergamot, oh no, not bergamot. Yeah, skip the white clay foam. Bergamot, one of the bergamot is a citrus, uh, which is fragrance, and then they haven't removed the furocumarins from it. It can unfortunately cause a bad rash when you go out in the sun. Products generally filter that out, but you can never be too certain. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't really serve a function, so yeah. So the Cosrx Mela 14 Wine Ampule. Has anyone tried this? It's basically niacinamide and uh, see the apple fruit water? I don't know why that's in there. That, that's not, that's something that people could be irritated by for sure. Uh, but niacinamide is fantastic. You know what uh, product that Cosrx has? You guys know I'm gonna chime. I'm going to sing the praises of. That's fantastic is the, is the, uh, the rice, uh, the, the overnight rice mask, this bomb mask that has niacinamide in it, and I swear that that definitely does give a brightening effect. Niacinamide kind of interferes with, interferes with some of how pigment is transferred around and can impart a brightening effect. Misha's got this Time Revolution Borabit Ampule. Comment below on if you've used this one. I've only used the, um, Essen, uh, the um, Time Revolution, but does this have fragrance in it? Four types of lactobacillus complex containing purple energy. Okay, what else? Yeah, a lot of these fermented um, extracts can be helpful in terms of humectants. Ooh, that is a long, long ingredient list. <laughs> that is a really long ingredient list. I'm seeing, yeah, fruit extracts. Mm, can't say I would recommend that. Moisture serum. This one I haven't tried either. Olive oil though is not good on the skin, left on the skin. It's okay in cleansers, but it's actually been shown to um, increase transepidermal water loss. I think when I saw this on iHerb, I think they had this one on iHerb. I think when I saw it on iHerb, I was like, mm, no, I'm not gonna get that. It doesn't make any sense. Comment below though, and if you use that, if you see, if you get a good moisturizing effect. Oh God, Dr. Jard, the sick of pear. I don't recommend Sika Pear, it's laden with fragrance. I used it though, and it, I did see I did see a brightening effect. I didn't use the serum, I used the um, the moisturizer, the, the Sika, Sika, Sika Pear cream, the green cream, the tiger grass cream, and I did see a brightening effect with it, but it's laden with fragrance. A better choice uh, is either the uh, La Roche-Posay, um, if a clear one I keep mentioning, or um, Boots has a uh, Cicaplast paste, Cicapair paste, Cicapair or Cicaplast, I can't remember what they call it. Um, that is a better choice because it's fragrance free. Oh look, Mizan has a, has a sea buckthorn cream. Sea buckthorn is what is in the um, Stracha Liquid Gold I reviewed for you guys a long time ago. It uh, is rich in antioxidants and has been you know, kind of pursued in cosmetics uh, for that purpose. Um, so it's it's a it's a reasonable ingredient. It makes a nice moisturizer, but I don't know what else is in this. This is Maison. Um I did not do well with the snail serum though. I mean, I'm assuming that the sea buckthorn cream has fragrance in it though. Likewise, they have a Medecaside. Uh, this is Centella Asiatica, by the way. Uh, cream. Comment below. Is there fragrance in that? That looks like a short ingredient list. <laughs> um, so that's that's potentially promising. Ooh, what is this? Thirty-eight bucks for this water fuse. Who's tried this? This is by Jart. Um, I wonder if this is kind of like a Korean Hydro Boost. It sort of looks like it. K Beauty Hydro Boost. Whew, long ingredient list, lots of uh, flower oils. Yeah, Jart goes overboard, but the nice thing about this, it has peptides in it. Uh, so this is kind of like, kind of akin to the same pursuit of happiness that you might be chasing if you use that Boots number seven. Uh, what is it called? I'll list it down below. It's like a rapid, like a wrinkle corrector, wrinkle corrector. It like looks like a syringe. 
that one's got peptides in it um, but unlike that one this one has uh, citrus oils in it which are fragrance I would not I wouldn't get this one Has anyone tried some of these brands I'm not familiar I mean I've heard of the brands but I'm not familiar with the product so comment below I have used this one and it's got like honeysuckle extract in it which I don't know what the heck that's supposed to do honestly like it's not evidence-based like I can't recommend this for anybody but um, it's a nice gel humectant otherwise I've tolerated it a while and I went through I went through two things of it already <laughs> So clearly I use it, but it's hard for me to give you guys an evidence-based recommendation about this because there's nothing in there that I can like hang my hat on as being a well well established ingredient that's not gonna that's not gonna cause problems for people. So I use it but I can't recommend it. because <laughs> uh, I feel I feel like stuff like this, I'm always nervous it's gonna give people with with rosacea sensitive skin problems or flare someone's acne in a way that I can't predict. Here we go with the secret of Sahara. I swear, part of good cosmetic marketing is having some sort of elusive, either a garden where there's some kind of secret fountain or like some kind of in some some kind of a some kind of a landscape setting, like either either some magical ocean where there's this ingredient from the sea that's you know basically perfume, but we can put it in a cream and make all it is, or like um, oh the other one is like. Um, cultural appropriation in your skincare, like, oh, this is something that the geishas did. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> Don't think so, but yeah. Okay, I know I keep going back to CauseRx, but I have used a lot of their products, so I feel comfortable. I've used their snail serum, the snail all in one cream. I liked it. It's, it's a nice humectant. Uh, it's not any more magical, though, than any of the other gel humectants I've used. And be really careful opening this, because your girl has dropped us on the bathroom floor, and that is a mess and a half to pick up, let me tell you. The PHA Moisture Renewal Power Cream is also a good choice for those of you with sensitive skin who want a little bit of... Um, gentle 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 exfoliation that is mostly uh, going to help kind of improve the appearance of dullness this is a good choice PHAs are um, much gentler than alpha hydroxy acids they really they're by and large humectants they help plump up the skin hydrate the skin they can just sort of encourage a little bit of gentle cell turnover so if you have that kind of dull those dull patches and you're really really sensitive this this is a good choice I feel like this has fragrance in it. The honey ceramide. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I was just put off by the price. Yeah, thirty dollars. I thought it was a little expensive. Cosrx is also cruelty free, by the way. Yeah, what did this have in it that I was like, mm, no, skip it. Actually, I think I wanted this, and it, they were out of it on iHerb. So honey um, is actually a really good ingredient. Can hear me? That's not obviously not vegan. Uh, it's it's uh, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. I mean, it is it is used in medicine uh, a fair amount. Does this actually have honey in it, though? Let's, let's, the devil's in the details. It's got beeswax, honey extract. Yeah, I don't know that that's giving you the same benefit as actual honey. Honey is, is so viscous. It, it's a nice, it makes for a nice humectant, basically. So I don't know how the, the extract compares, basically. Like, the medical grade honey is, is actually... Uh, irradiated honey so it has the same viscosity whereas the extract I think it's probably just just a liquid um, but this has ceramides which can help encourage skin barrier turnover and sodium hyaluronate um, which is a salt of hyaluronic acid that uh, functions as a humectant um, this also has beeswax as a thickener um, I don't know I think this this really doesn't offer a whole lot over over serum B moisturizing cream I've got to tell you guys um, even though I've never used it before, I I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't plunk down the what is this? Um, this one is was 35 and is now 20. Let's put it back. <laughs> I've looked at this Innisfree green tea, tea seed cream for you guys because I you know from green tea uh, is helpful for diminishing the appearance of pores. It's also anti-inflammatory. And uh, so I was interested in this, but it, unfortunately it has fragrance. So I cannot recommend that. My tinted sunscreen though has EGCG in it. My, um, 
the tinted sunscreen that I'm wearing, the Exuvians. It's really good. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. The 2X Barrier Cream. This, this is, this is a great way to get, to get the ceramides. This is Soon, Soon Jung. This is a better, this is a better choice than, than that Honey Ceramide Cause RX Cream. They also have a Sika Balm, which is very good. I've tried a little tiny sample of it. You can get like a little variety pack of all of the Soon Jung products for, I think it was like $7.50. That's a good deal. You guys are getting hot. <laughs> Whoa, that sounded really suggestive. I mean, my camera's heating up. It's a Korean Boom Boom Cream. <laughs> I, I don't know that that's what that is. This is a mask. Cool. 25, 23 years old. Modeling mask. All right, so you guys are going to have to educate me on what this is. This looks... This looks Lux. They have... It says, Transform Your Skin. Aqua Bab Modeling Mask. Designed as a, as a two-level mask with a crystal gel complex that intensely hydrates and nourishes inner and outer skin. I'd like to know what that has in it. They also have a C. Trigel Modeling Mask. Oh, that's got sea buckthorn in it and um, vitamin C, so... Yeah, comment below. Have any of you guys used these? 30 bucks. Whoa, that's an intense mask. Oh, it comes with individual. Okay, I see. Inside the little inside the little capsule, <laughs> there are sticks to apply it on. Little like tongue depressor type things, and then individual masks. Cool. This is so much fun, you guys. Ooh. I haven't tried this. The moist relief all-in-one gel. That looks nice. 15 bucks. Alright, I've tried the Holika Holika Aloe Soothing Gel and I was like, mmm, so so. The Nature's Republic one though is really good. Um, I love using this as a shave gel. People always ask me about putting this on the face and I find that these aloe gels are really irritating for most people to tolerate on the face. And like I, the way I've always used them is basically as a barrier cream for shaving purposes, but I don't really have high shaving needs ever since I got you know, I got laser hair removal on my legs and under my arms, so I don't have to shave that often, so I can kind of splurge on shave cream, like, but for those, those of you who have to shave, you know, like on a daily basis, that's kind of a costly thing. But I recommend that over, over using just straight aloe, the aloe plant, because um, the aloe plant is much more irritating. Um, this, they, they process it, they filter out the aloe, and it's, it's better in cosmetics than to just put the plant on physically. But both can be irrit equally irritating. Has anybody tried this Ipkin New York? That doesn't look K-Beauty. This looks like a rogue product in here, but I guess it is. On sale for 18. Yeah, propolis is in a lot of things in K-Beauty, and it is anti-inflammatory, but it is something that people do develop an allergy to. Like, it, it can cause a lot of problems, particularly in the lips. Propolis is always in, like, a lot of lip products. I think it's what's in a lot of lip, um, Burt's Bees lip, lip glosses, and people develop allergic chelitis to the propolis. So, I, you know, it can be a problem for a lot of people, so I don't recommend it, but I know it's popular. Oh, we're definitely out of my territory here with the with the cosmetics. Look at all of these cute. These are things that you can add, just little drops of color to things. That's handy. Dear darling tent, how sweet! Oh, it's Etude House. It's like a little lollipop. That is adorable. I'm showing you guys this because I know you all enjoy makeup. I don't, but let's check it all out. I mean, I don't wear makeup, but oh, how cute! Okay, I'm. I think contemplating buying this solely for the packaging. Look at that. It is a little mini Ramoa, a Korean Ramoa. Oh my God, that is adorable, you guys. Oh my goodness. What could I put in there? Card, business cards? That is, that is really adorable. Oh my God, I'm tempted to buy that. Lovely cookie blusher. Packaging is really cute. Yeah, this Innisfree Nocebo Mineral Pack, it also has fragrance in it, and um, this can really be kind of irritating, but did uh, those of you who wear makeup, have you guys used this? Like, what was your experience? They have it on eye herb. All right, I have 
have used Dr. John's BB cream like long before I ever had a YouTube channel. I got it in a, does that thing still exist with the um, beauty box, what is it called? Uh, birch box. I got it in a birch box and it was amazing. I believe I got, was it this, no it wasn't this, yeah it was this one. It was really good, but I think it has fragrance in it, unfortunately. You know, I got a little sample of it and I didn't know what the ingredients were at the time. Yeah, bergamot, lemon peel oil, don't recommend. Not a good thing to be putting on your face. The Misha BB creams I know are really popular, um, but they all have fragrance in them as well. Uh, if I had to recommend a BB cream, I would say uh, the the um, color science mineral face shield kind of functions as a bb cream in my experience but you know i think as far as the coverage that you get it's it's pretty it's pretty it gives a pretty good coverage one of these cushions i have no idea what a cushion is really i know it's a way to like put powder on okay, let's look at the masks too oh, what is this air layering pore mask Comment below, tell me what this is. I'm not entirely sure, but a little scared. Cleansing and makeup remover wipes. I am back and I have moved things around in my room and so I've moved my filming setup kind of to a different different area. I'm not sure how permanent this will be but uh, if anything it has freed up a lot of space in here but I think I'm getting a lot more echoing because I moved my dresser into my closet to just make it more spacious in here so I apologize for that. Um, but I did get some goodies at the K-Beauty store to share with you guys. I, um, you know, my dilemma with K-Beauty is, first of all, all of, sometimes I can't read the ingredients, and so I have to look up the product online and find either the um, C Cause DNA site or um, there's another one that I frequent a fair amount that will list all the ingredients in English. Um, and I was trying to do that in there a fair amount. But, so that's one issue is I don't always know the ingredients. And then the other issue is um, a lot of times, a lot of the K-Beauty has a lot of fragrance, which I can't, which I can't recommend. But one product, um, I went over by the sunscreens, but didn't get a chance to film. They had the Etude House Mild Airy, Mild Airy um, Sun Finish sunscreens that are really popular. I can't recommend those. They have, they have fragrance and essential oils. In fact, I think one of them has oil of bergamot in it. I know they have like lemon extract and orange extract. Um, they, so they had those and they also had some by Misha that also had fragrance in them. But this sunscreen is 1K Beauty one that I really love. It is the Soon Jung, like I said in there, Etude House Soon Jung uh, Mild Defense Sun Cream. This is a mineral sunscreen. It does leave uh, a white cast to it, but this is really good. But I'm really excited. I got this kit um, or set, like gift set. Um, this brand is supposed to be fragrance free. The gal in there was super helpful, Melody. So Melody, if you're watching, thank you so much for all of your help. This is, um, the brand is, oh dear, what is it? Illy? Illy. And she's like, yes, this is definitely fragrance free and um, it's good, enough for, good enough for babies, she said. Um, so I got, I got this gift set and it comes with, I don't know if you can see. It comes with a mask. Um, this is a ceramide moisture barrier repair mask. So that's good. Ceramides are really important in restoring the skin barrier. Um, so I got a mask here. I don't know the ingredients though. So hopefully that doesn't have anything irritating in it. But I mostly got it for um, what's inside the, the box here. And I got, oh cool, it opens up like that. Oh neat. So I got, um, it's basically like a three set step system here. Everything out. Yeah, I got this kit for, I think it was like on sale for 22 bucks, but it came with a little bath puff thing, thingamajig, um, which I won't use. Uh, but then it also came with this ceramide addo cream. I'm really looking forward to trying this. It is a ceramide 
moisturizing cream, I believe. And then it also came with a cleanser. I look forward to trying that out and letting you guys know how it goes. And it also came with a lotion. So that's great. Cleanser. I've seen these at H Mart before, but um, I, uh, I've never tried them before, so I'm looking forward to that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, there are also some sam little free samples that she gave me. She gave me <laughs> the Pyongkang Yule. I love Pyongkang Yule. This is probably one of my favorite K-beauty brands. I really enjoyed their products quite a bit. And they are pretty much all mostly fragrance, pretty much all fragrance free, um, with the exception of some of their cleansers have fragrance. And then I can never recommend the Innisfree, unfortunately, like I said in there, because it has fragrance, but she gave me a little sample of the green, um, the green tea seed serum and the eye cream. So I was grateful to, to her for that. She's very nice. So Melody, if you were watching, thank you so much. You guys, if you live in Houston, you have to go to this store. It is how you, how you, I hope I'm saying that right, cosmetics.